Hello everyone. Hello Lilac class. I hope you're doing lots of reading. Today's story is about a little girl called Emma and she lives on a farm. It's called Emma's Lamb and it's by Kim Lewis. One rainy spring morning at lambing time, Emma's father put a little lost lamb in a box by the stove and then he went back to the field to look for the lamb's mother. Lamb and Emma looked at each other. Bah, said Lamb, sitting up in his box. Emma wanted to keep little Lamb and look after him all by herself. And so Emma dried Lamb because he was very wet. She tried to keep him warm because he was very cold. Emma fed Lamb because he was very hungry. When Lamb was dry and warm and fed, he and Emma played. Ah, said Lamb, getting into a mess. Then Emma took Lamb for a walk. He skipped along behind her. Emma decided to play hide and seek. She closed her eyes and counted to ten. Here I come, she cried. Emma looked for Lamb in the stable. She looked for him in the barn. She looked for him in the granary. She looked all around the yard. She couldn't find Lamb in the house. He wasn't in his box. She couldn't find him in the sheep pens either. I give up, she shouted. But Lamb was nowhere to be found. Emma didn't want to play anymore. She wanted Lamb to come back. She thought he might be cold and hungry. Where are you, Lamb? she cried. Ah! came a sound from the hay shed. Emma ran inside to look. Lamb sat up in the nesting box where the hens had laid their eggs. Ah! he cried and ran to Emma. Lamb, I thought I'd lost you, said Emma, holding him very tight. She couldn't look after Lamb all by herself. He needed to be with his mother. But where was she? Then Emma saw her father across the field. A ewe without a lamb ran ahead of him, calling, Ah! He wriggled, lamb wriggled to get free and Emma put him down. Lamb ran as fast as he could to his mother. Emma went to the field the very next day. When she called, Lamb came running to see her. Will you remember me? asked Emma. Emma and Lamb looked at each other. Ah, said Lamb, wagging his tail. And that's the end. Tomorrow's story will be My Friend Harry, also by Kim Lewis. See you then. Bye.